finding myself atop the world's north coast under a youthful spell of wanderlust, where in the sky glowed a magic stardust, one nestled isle did serve a welcome host. All that stood still would ice and frost encrust as I looked to produce my traveler's fare, traversing all for places wild and rare, taking no heed of autumn's arctic gust. Untimely darkness still with time to spare, on sprawling empty streets I was engrossed, until I came upon a small signpost, revealing bark of which I was aware. Fixed an edifice with naught to boast, as if a long-seen friend I once did trust, for resting here upon earth's feeble crust, before me stood an outpost northernmost. Somehow it felt as if both right and just, a safeguard from man's lost and prideful error, I strode in humble dwellings to the chair, a depiction of power most robust. Belonging to the twelve apostles' heir, named for our virgin mother, honored most, in the name of Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, my roving soul did stop to pray a prayer. Kneeling in lodgings, far from grandiose, observed the room to see what I could learn. A foreign script could I barely discern before a potent throne of love utmost. Deciding before from there I adjourn, while gazing on the humble colored glass, I would this week come back again for mass. To this meek vessel I would soon return. And when another day had come to pass, attending with a cleric most threadbare, me and scant few others who were there, longing to satisfy our soul's crevasse. Had not some hardy souls once dreamed to dare to spread the word to ends of all the earth, with glory to his hallowed virgin birth, no light would shine through circumpolar air.